Good morning. Well, it's not morning. Yesterday I wanted to get four quilts done and I had an event I had to go to that I kind of forgot about it. And so the things I wanted to get done yesterday did not get done. So today that's what we're going to do. We're going to be working on this really cool Mario quilt. I love this lady's quilt. She does beautiful quilts and she's a subscriber. So we're going to showcase her quilts. <laughs> I'm also going to be working on designing these quilts. This is part of a block swap that I did probably like two years ago. <laughs> it's still having quilts in my quilts, okay? I don't know. That's a long armors problem. But um, I was supposed to add, from the pattern that I created, I was supposed to add two more. Um, I mean, change the pattern. Two more borders or three more borders. No, two little ones and two medium sized ones and I just can't. Um, but what I wanna do is quilt these. I have two of them because I was part of both two block swaps. My favorite quilts are quilts that are made with a black background. I think the colors just pop. They highlight, I don't know. I ended up doing three different groups, a uh, white background group, a gray, and a black background group. And uh, at least I have the blocks. It's a quilt top, right? Anyway, let's get working. So I'm gonna sew all the way around. So I'm sewing it so that the three layers are tacked together. I'm trying to find a thread that goes with the quilt, but doesn't take away from the quilt. And so you don't want to lose the design. So you kind of want a quilt thread that's kind of invisible because you don't want it to distort the design. But on the other end, you gotta quilt it, right? So let me show you how the thread looks here. You see how beautiful it kind of just sits inside the quilt? And then it still kind of has some color. And you see a little bit of the quilting on the white, but it doesn't overpower the red. Now we're gonna find out how it looks like in this area. You see it has a lot of black, but the fabric or the thread is a beautiful gold. And this is what the quilting looks like from far away. Now you can see how the quilting looks like in the black and beige areas. In these lighter beige areas or darker browns, it kind of blends in beautifully. But on the black, it kind of still goes because the thread is like a gold and it kind of ha has some color in it and it goes in. If I would have done white, it would have popped out more. And so that gold color kind of reds and beiges and burgundies have a bit warmer tone. And it doesn't take away from the quilt at all. The best way to quilt them is to do stitching on the ditch so it's quilted, but it's not taking away from the quilt itself or the design. But if the client doesn't want custom work because that's what stitching the ditch is, Find a pattern that's not too overly densely quilted. It has a little bit more open space, like this one. You see how it has so much open space, but I do have a whole bunch of repeats, so it's not so open, but the quilting itself is not overloading. And this is what two rows looks like on the white area. Another thing I wanted to share, it's 
I ended up getting some bobbins. I will post a link on the Amazon. You know, I had another set that I used to buy and y'all sold them out. So I had to find my a different type. Came out with a hundred for like $34. I really do love these. Uh, of course, these are a little bit different, just a slight different. It has, uh, but these work as well. So I got myself a bundle because I have a lot of bobbins wound. <sighs> get, to, get to work loaded now, which saves me time, but I had to go buy more. One of the things I forgot is to measure the distance between here and here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, let me get my one inch. So the distance is about a half inch because I need to find placement here for a half inch. I'm trying not to move so much for you. Here my long arm is gonna hit here and I, that's where I want it to measure on the computer. So here's this line and I want it to be a half inch. Also too, while I'm doing this, I am making sure that the fabric is, I'm kind of like hand pressing it, right? I don't want to put any <laughs> spray or anything because brown bleeds and red bleeds and there's white fabric. That's the danger zone. And uh, I'm not the kind that likes going into the danger zone. <laughs> okay, so I'm hand pressing, making sure that everything is nice and flat for my client. All right, so I have it a half inch off right there and now I need to go to the computer. So here's my computer and so I'm gonna scoot this over a smidge and here's that beautiful line right there. Now I'm gonna measure here and here and make sure I'm a half inch all the way across so that when it quilts, the spacing is exactly like the spacing here. Here's my half inch mark on the center of the quilt right there. Yeah, do you see how it's a little bit different? So do you see how beautiful that spacing is? I did move the quilt down because I had issues where the head and the machine was hitting the pickup bar, but you can see that the spacing is beautiful. You can see it right there. And I'm realigning a quilt every time I check. One, the left side, the center, and the right side. If this would be a large quilt, I would check three centers. The right side, the center here, maybe a center over here, and another center and the edge, depending on the size of the quilt. You may end up putting the quilt on a little bit wonky, meaning it's not completely straight across, and that causes the pattern not to sit nice and flat or nice and parallel. And so be mindful. That's why I measure to make sure that just in case, you know, my spacing is different in one area to another, I can fix that on the computer. And literally you can see it right here. You can see <laughs> where it's not a big change, but the way I put the quilt on, it was a little bit off right here, but you're not gonna see that after it's quilted. I just know it because of how I put the quilt on. You see that little slight angle? Yeah, it's a slight angle. Look how beautiful this is, but look at also this. It is quilted, but almost like the quilting thread disappears and creates this really neat texture. Here's the quilting thread. Honestly, if you're gonna use gold, gold like blends in with this beautiful blue. It goes with this red. It doesn't overpower black. 